welcome back to my channel where we start a lot of projects and never actually finish any. Except for today, we finished this one and this video facilitates two needs. A, I think I figured out how to do video and audio a little better. Uh, the lighting's still kind of a joke. Um, and then B, to showcase something that I have to deal with in Georgia. In Georgia, there are a lot of trees and a lot of power lines above ground. I don't know why they're above ground. My neighborhood loses power almost every week. Sometimes it's just for a few minutes at a time. Sometimes it's for 50 hours and it's just awful. Almost every bedroom in our house right now, no, I'm sorry, every room in our house right now has a UPS. Um, I even have a generator outside if we if the power goes out for ex an extended period of time. However, uh, I have to run <laughs> extension cables all, th all throughout the house, big thick extension cables all throughout the house. And so there are some rooms that I just don't wanna run extension cables to. So I have this old UPS. I've had this thing for over 10 years. It had a 4.5 amp, uh, amp hour battery inside of it. It was trash, it was flat. I, th I got rid of that and then I figured, hey, you know, this thing, you know, any 12 volt deep cycle should work, right? Um, so I tossed this nine, a nine amp hour in there, worked great. And then coincidentally, the neighbor down the street was giving this thing away for free. It's a brand new 18 amp hour battery. He bought it for his generator. It turns out it was the wrong size. Uh, so he just, just gave it away for free. <laughs> And so um, this is a quick little mod, right? So I took this super cheap uh, 450 and um, yanked out the battery. And then I built a uh, port on the side, an XT60 port on the side, so I could plug in an external battery. So I, I purpose built this cable um, for this battery. I'll probably do another port on it so I can put two batteries so I can kind of hot swap them. I know that's pretty nerdy, right? Uh, and then um, just kind of proof of concept, right? So here it is, it's plugged in. I'm gonna disconnect it from the wall. So there's the plug and you can see that's still illuminated, right? And there it is beeping. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. And there it is, it dies. Um, this thing's awesome. And uh, the real reason for this particular unit is um, I have, our house is fiber lit, right? And if you, if you know what that's like, you have to keep the modem, the well, fiber modem or whatever it is on the side of the house, that has to constantly be um, electrified for whatever purpose, I don't know. So this unit is strictly dedicated to power that. Um, this big battery powering that, five, six days of juice, right? So it just keeps the internet on for five or six days. Um, and then obviously we have other units throughout the house for maintaining uh, the various routers for the mesh network and that kind of stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching.